I really want to thank you for this question. It, uh, it reflects a popular press uh, book called Eat Right for Your Blood Type and a number of other books that have followed. However, I generally try to avoid making recommendations from the popular press. I look more at specific research that has been done and I've made two articles that have been done uh, on this topic available in my bibliography that's listed in my profile. Both of these are pretty well designed and uh, laid out randomized controlled trials, which is the type of studies that I like to put more weight in. And then they both found that there really was no discernible difference between the blood types in their response to dietary intervention. And they did see some improvement in all of the groups that they studied. However, the improvement was not revealing any kind of additional impact related to A, B, AB, or O blood type. And there's a big focus on this in the popular press, so I'm not surprised uh, to get a question about this. However, unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be the kind of uh, cure-all adaptable diet to individual needs that it first was presented as. So thank you very much for the question. A little unfortunate that it doesn't turn out to be that clear cut. And I know there are some very firm adherents to these uh, philosophies and approaches who might consider this research to be um, dismissible, but myself, I've read both of these papers. They are randomized, controlled, prospective studies that were done with close follow-up and intervention. So I don't see any reason to go into it too much further because I think that pretty much answers the question that dietary modifications can be made in accordance with the standard American Heart Association or American uh, Endocrinology Association recommendations without regard to what your personal blood type is. You can buy these books that come with their own in-home blood typing. I think everybody should know their blood type in case you need blood, but I'm afraid, unfortunately, altering your diet in response to that does not, according to some pretty stringent research criteria, show to have a differing impact from diet.